Don't forget to join my giveaway. I am giving away an entire sneaker collection of shoe cheese. If you want to join, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your post notifications on, leave a like on this video, and also leave a comment down below saying I want to win the giveaway. Hey yo, what's good you hypies? Welcome back to our sneakers. If you guys are new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below because I do put out new content from Monday through Friday on fashion stuff such as anything from designer to streetwear and everything in between. And today I'm going to be getting into real versus fake gold. About a month or two ago, I posted a video of me reviewing jewelry that was fake according to you guys. I call it gold plated because there's so many different types of fake gold that you can buy. But for the sake of this video, we're just going to go ahead and call it fake gold. You guys always saw this diamond onk and this gold chain, which is at 22 inches, I think if I'm not mistaken. But now lately, you guys probably see me wearing this gold chain and this gold bracelet which is what I'm going to be wearing from now on and and you guys did make a valid point saying that real gold was actually not that expensive and I actually went out to a jeweler and looked for gold and it really was not that expensive at all so this is the reason I stopped promoting fake jewelry and in this video I'm going to be comparing the difference between the real gold and the fake gold so to start off with the obvious reasons you guys can clearly see the difference between the colors the real gold is obviously a lot more shinier while the fake gold is a lot more darker and the reason for that being is because the fake gold is usually just a gold plate so it's really just some type of metal plated in gold it could be stainless steel or it could be silver however when it's silver covered in gold i think it's called vermeil and you can find that in a company called which I did buy from them once. However, I lost that bracelet in the club and that's the reason I actually started buying fake jewelry in the first place because I didn't want to lose all my real gold. But in the end, real gold is not that much so I'm not really chipping about it anymore. The real gold, on the other hand, is made out of real gold. However, there are different types of gold. You do have 10K, 14K, and 18K, which are the most popular, and 24K as well, which is really rare, but it does exist. So what this means is that based on a scale out of 24, whatever number your chain is, is that number divided by 24 and the number you get is the percentage of gold material in your chain so for example this one's 10 karat gold so if we go on our calculator right here if we type in 10 divided by 24 we're going to get a number of 0.4166666 and it's going to go on forever they just put a seven in there because obviously they have to round it off at some point so that means if we turn this number into a percentage that means that it is 41.67 percent which means that the amount of gold in this is only 41.67 percent out of the entire chain and the rest of the materials that are in here is a mixture of other types of metals so for example if you had 12 karat gold obviously 12 divided by 24 is 0.5 which is 50 percent which means that your chain is made out of 50 percent gold and if your chain is 18k 18 divided by 24 is 0.75 which means that your chain is made out of 75 percent gold which usually is the more common one due to the fact that gold is not that strong so if you have a 24 chain necklace bracelet whatever you have and it's not going to be as strong which is the reason that it's mixed with other metals another thing is that fake gold will have more weight to it sometimes it will be cheap and it won't even bend like this like this is actually a really good fake chain other than the fact of the discoloring but if you guys look at it it actually does bend very nice fake gold will not bend as nice and i did have a chain like that and it didn't bend too well another thing with gold is that you have solid and hollow which obviously hollow it stands for its name it is hollow on the inside and solid gold obviously is going to be wherever it was hollow there's going to be real gold in there so sometimes you might buy real gold and it does feel really light and it does feel cheap the reason for that being is usually because it might be hollow however when you go to buy fake jewelry they're not going to make it hollow it's pointless because this right here probably takes two dollars to make if not even cheaper and you can even sell this for five ten dollars and still make profit off of it real gold obviously not because real gold has its value obviously it has its like its own stock or stock market i don't know what you call it exactly but it does have its own prices and it does change day to day so that is another difference between these two and obviously that's a difference between real gold itself but that's a whole nother topic that I'm not going to get into. Real gold like this will not discolor, obviously, because it's real gold. Fake gold will, because obviously that gold plating does fade away. And you guys can clearly see the difference here. I know I've worn this one a lot longer than I've worn this one, which is obviously the real one. But either way, this one will not ever get this color because it is real gold. This shininess might go away due to wear and stuff like that, but it's never going to get to this color because it is real gold. One last thing that's obviously different is going to be the price. Most companies that you see nowadays on Instagram ads, they most likely just drop ship them from AliExpress, from Alibaba, or any Chinese website sometimes even wish i was thinking about doing the same thing and opening my own drop shipping website but it is very time consuming to do that so i did not get the ball rolling on that and on top of that i have other things in the work like i told you guys a consignment shop and other things which i have not announced yet but like i said this chain right here costs like two three dollars five dollars at most to make and that's probably pushing it i don't really know how much things cost to make but i know that's really cheap especially if it's made in large quantities this however is obviously real gold so it's going to cost a lot more it's going to be the cost of the weight of the gold that's in it which is measured through grams and obviously the percentage of gold that's in your chain depending on the character of gold that you have oh and one last thing is that fake jewelry can be made in many ways it could be gold plated it could be gold filled it could be electro plated there is many types of way that they do this however in the end it is all going to fade away some might turn your neck green some might not like this one i've worn forever and you guys notice that my neck's never been dirty or green this is really good quality however i'm not going to promote
Walmart where I got this exact one from. And just to let you guys know, it's not any of the companies that I reviewed in the past. But yes, most fake chains will start off like this and they will fade to a color like this. And this is at its best. This is fake gold at its best. And other fake gold will just fade away and it will just make the metal black, but it won't really stain your neck. However, some will. And some other worst fake golds will turn your neck green, which those are completely obvious. And those are the ones you do not want to be wearing because those are very embarrassing, especially if you go out in public. And it's not even about it being fake. It's just a matter of fact that your neck is green or black or whatever color it is that's embarrassing. If you guys are enjoying this video, make sure to subscribe and also turn on your post notifications because I do come out with videos like this Monday through Friday. And if you guys want me to make more jewelry videos, leave a comment down below and I will do so. Anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video and want to see more videos like this, smash that thumbs up button. Today's fan of the day does go to Rockstar King. He did actually ask me if I'm still going to slide to Chicago next weekend for sneaker con. And unfortunately, I will not. Other things came up and on top of that, I have other things planned. So unfortunately, I cannot make it. I'm sorry to all of those that expect me to be there. Anyways, guys, until next time, make sure you guys keep grinding. It's your boy. So you're signing out.